I'm going to press and give you a bus now, like a truck. <laughs> so get in the back. We'll open the door somewhere. We'll, that's next year. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Ted's, we're not quite ready yet. Uh, we're actually, uh, we're rolling. Okie dokie. We're rolling. I'll talk quietly until he gets the level set up. Um, it's... <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't forget, Ted's selling the DVDs. He's working like crazy, running around. He Yay, go Ted! We like Ted! The company name is Media Archives. Please support Ted and all the work he's doing um, and the rest of the video crew that's been helping out. Um, he lets us put stuff online and we like to let him make money. So please, uh, <laughs> please buy his stuff. Um, all right, so this is um, the closing plenary, and then we'll have the closing remarks. So last year, a funny thing happened. Um, <laughs> out of the way, the improv. Um, <laughs> so we had a bunch of talks that were all about the same thing, the OLPC. And I'm going to sit down, and I apologize to everybody on this side of that thing, but I'm tired. And, and it's, I started the weekend, and I'm like, I got nothing to do after I do the opening remarks on Friday. And they realized, no, I have like three talks in a row. I have to do the own the con thing, and then I have to do this, and then I have to do the closing ceremonies. So I'm going to conserve my energy and sit down. Uh, but anyway, uh, we had these four OLPC talks that were submitted, and we thought, man, these are all really interesting topics, but we don't like want to have like an OLPC track. And it seems unfortunate to um, keep anybody out of this particular discussion because they all had really interesting ideas to share. So what we did is we went to them and said, hey, you know what, we kind of are about social and, and cultural responsibility and we like to do just one big session on the OLPC. And um, it's a little presumptuous for the program committee to get together and force that upon the speakers, but the speakers were nice enough to go along with it. And I think it worked out really well to get everybody <laughs> together, except for that speaker who's an asshat, um, <laughs> yeah. which is the greatest invention of the internet, by the way, the word asshat. It's, I'm glad it's entered our nomenclature. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Applauding for asshat, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Give it up for asshat. That's your new name, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Um, and it, as we talked about it this year, we liked the fact that we had this kind of closing plenary that seemed to have some kind of greater good um, initiative associated with it. And at the same time, um, Johnny, I'm going to paraphrase this kind of conversation that we had. Um, Johnny's on the end. Which, uh, is, which is always a bad sign. Yeah, it's always a bad sign. That means I could, when you say paraphrase, I mean, it's going to be morphed to make my argument for me rather than what reality really was at the time because it makes a better story. Um, but Johnny went overseas. He went to Uganda. Mm -hmm went to Uganda um, and did some mission work over there. And uh, get it up for Johnny. And so Johnny's right, a thanks for, thanks for the applause for Asshat and Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably need to like have the other type of applause. Um, legal. So um, Johnny comes back and he's a shmoo and so we have a shmoo mailing list and he posts about his experiences and he says something to the effect of, man, that was really eye-opening. That is like the greatest good is going over and helping these folks. And I remember thinking, I don't know, man, there's a lot of greater goods out there. And frankly, I view computer security as a greater good. And I see that I'm not really good at feeding starving children. I don't like to travel. Um, I'm not that crafty with my hands. I built a bookshelf once with two left sides. Speaking um, of ass hat. <laughs> speaking of ass hat, yes, thank you. I am a bit of an ass hat. I, other cultures don't want me. Um, and so, you know, we got to discussing within the group, you know, what about computer security is a greater societal benefit? And what are our responsibilities as a group to society as a whole with respect to computer security and hackerdom and all that kind of stuff. Um, and this thread has kind of come up periodically over the last year and I think people are getting more interested in it. So this year for the closing plenary, what we decided to do is get kind of a collection of people on stage that were representative of something. I'm not sure what yet. Um, but to kind of talk through some issues regarding the social responsibility of the hacker scene and the security industry. Okay, uh, and, and particularly with respect to kind of greater goods that we could accomplish, maybe should accomplish, maybe must accomplish, not really sure. We're going to hash through some of these issues. Um, first, I want to introduce everybody. Uh, I'm Bruce Potter. Uh, I, I've actually, I think I went through the entire ShmooCon without introducing myself, and I think that's pretty goddamn presumptuous, and I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm Bruce Potter. I'm going to moderate this, and I'm going to try to keep my own opinion to a minimum, which seems awfully unlikely. Um, <laughs> to my uh, instant right is Simple. Simple, who are you? I'm Simple Nomad. 
It's a name. It's a resume. It's a way of life. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really pimping anything right now. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'll just. Uh, Simple's a literal right. gray beard. <laughs> I'm going to pay for that later in so many ways. Um, <laughs> on the far right is uh, Johnny Long. Johnny, who are you? Uh, I'm Johnny Long. Oh, oh my I'm God! <laughs> I'll just take all their time. He, yeah, he decided you. he was going to moderate and sit down, so this is going to be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, get up if I need to beat you. <laughs> okay, I'm Johnny Long, and uh, uh, I, do, I, I do pen testing. Most of you know me through my, through my talks and books and stuff like that. Now, the reason I'm here uh, for the social good thing is, as Bruce talked about the trip to Uganda, uh, inspired me to, to start a group called Hackers for Charity. And uh, we seek to connect the skills in this community with charities that need those skills. Um, the upside of that is that we try to get uh, hackers and IT folks uh, resumes and, and set them on a career path. Uh, so whether you care about good or not, it's uh, good for our volunteers. So that's sort of why I'm here. Um, and for the record, Simple's here because he does bring a lot of perspective, um, not just because he's old. Um, but <laughs> he brings perspective because he is old. old. Right, there you go. Um, but but he does, he does um, actually have a lot of wise words to say, and I hope he, he, he says them and not other asshat words. Um, to my left is Rick Dakin. Hi, I'm Rick Dakin, and I'm a writer. And I've spent the last God, almost two years now uh, just exploring the hacker scene both here in the US and in uh, Europe and spending a lot of time talking to people and so um, I'm here to give the sort of outsider perspective on things sort of because I'm not a technical person I'm primarily a fiction writer working on some nonfiction products and I'm just you know here I've been observing a lot and so I'm here to add my observations cool and in the middle on my right is Hacker Jar uh, hi, so I'm Hackajar. Uh, I run the Summit fundraiser at DEF CON every year. This year's going to be the fourth year. Uh, it started off like as just some crazy concept of how do we get money to the EFF in the most efficient way, so we figured out ways to exploit people and their needs and desires to squeeze every dollar out of them we could. And so... Uh, Explo exploiting people but not children, right? It's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all checked it. They were all over the age of 18 and signed consent forms. So. Uh, and now, of course, we're also doing stuff for the Hacker Foundation as well. So it's EFF Hacker Foundation. Uh, my background is technical. Uh, I, if you, anybody went to old, old, old DEF CONs, I did uh, credit card security hacking for three years straight. And then after that, I moved on to do stuff for the National Nuclear Security Administration. And now I'm at some really large computer company that I can't name for legal purposes. <laughs> wait, wait, I want to get this straight. You did, you did credit card hacking and then got into fundraising. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is how hackers can help. Um, <laughs> did you really give the same talk three years in a row? Is that the lifespan of a talk at DEF CON because they forget? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it started off like very, oh, there, yeah, microphone. It started off like very, very specific, and then I noticed that people were like, oh, that's too specific. So then I said, okay, the next year, let's do a real time demo of, and I set up a credit card <laughs> network wirelessly that you just break into, sniff it, figure out what it's doing, and start inserting your own credit card streams and giving yourself free money. Uh, that still didn't work. So then we went to like back to basics the third year and said, here's just what the credit card industry does and how they make money and how they take it from you. Excellent. So. Well, I didn't know you could do that three years running. That's fantastic. I'm going to stop submitting new talks. Um, <laughs> OK, so here's the structure. Um, and I apologize for the intro. It's taking a little long, but I think it's important that you understand who we are so you can throw things appropriately. Um, 15 minutes per topic. There's going to be about four topics, give or take. Um, I reserve the right to kill any topic or make one go longer if it's getting interesting. Um, expect the speakers to disagree. And if they don't disagree, like come up here and put us in full Nelsons and make us disagree. Um, we are a bit of a social group up here and I think we tend to think alike but I hope that there is some disagreement and I hope that you disagree with some of what's said and feel free to speak up. Uh, be warned I can be an asshat and I will stop conversations that are running long or not going anywhere in the interest of the greater good of the audience and you not getting killed. Um, so please participate um, but please use your head when you do. So the first topic and this is what inspired me to have Rick on the panel is the um, ever popular discussion of what is a hacker. Right? Like you see this all the time and it seems po kind of pedantic. And we were at Freaknik um, this year in Tennessee. Go Freaknik. Woo! Um, we were in Freaknik in Nashville and Rick was giving a talk. I don't remember what it was about. Um, stuff. stuff. People were drinking. Al was there. Yeah. And, um, 
And he started to talk about what is a hacker, and I was kind of feeling ornery, and I'm like, who the hell cares? I'm screaming from the back, and then he You're actually, I was an asshat, and it turns out he actually had an interesting argument. Um, and I think if we're going to 